know it's your girl miss carla seven so today i'm gonna show you this look i'm just playing you guys i'm not showing you this look too too fast i told y'all this shit gonna be slow so today now, i'm gonna show you how to do your eyebrows i'm gonna show you like two or three different ways maybe two because i don't have my Time eyebrows right now i just cleaned them oh i hate how this eyebrow is down and then this is my nice eyebrow that is up look at it that's annoying anyways let's get started you guys so let me show you the three different stuff I have that you can use to do eyebrows, your eyebrows. First, I got an Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I think this is the Bro Definer. Yes, because sometimes I use the Bro Wiz, but this one is the Bro Definer. And then, in another, another one I have is the NYX Tame and Frame. Comes in a little bottle like this. And then the other one I have is the NYX Eyebrow Gel. And this. Now, my favorite thing usually to use is the pencil. I always love the pencil. It's traditional. Everybody usually uses a pencil. But now I'm getting into the creams and the gels. So I'm actually going to show you how to do both pencil and gel. I'm not going to do the cream one. And by the way, this is how the cream one looks. I'm not going to do the cream one today because it's very similar to the gel and uh, it just applies different and I really rather the gel instead. So I'm not going to do the cream one but as I said it's similar to the gel so kind of just you know go with it. Alright so let me show you all the brushes we're going to be using today. I got this duo brush from Crown Brushes at the makeup show. Basically, it's like an handled brush, and then it has the little, little um, what's this thing called? Spoolie at the end. So I had liked it because a lot of times when I'm doing my eyebrows, I do need the spoolie, you know, to comb your hairs and stuff. The other one I'm going to use is I have this angled brush. I have this angled brush, and this brand is called, I don't know how you pronounce this, but I got this from the beauty supply store. It's like kind of, it has a little apostrophe thing at the end, a tilde at the end something and also, and also i have this angled brush from morphine brushes and just a regular straight brush from no name it has no name y'all i guess i picked this up at the beauty supply store one day and um the concealer i'm gonna be using is my mac concealer sometimes i use let me show you guys my little thing is right here how accessible Sometimes I use the little um, Studio Finish concealers like this, but um, when I went to MAC, I found it very convenient that I had this one with all the little colors in it. So I like that. So I use the, I think this is NC, let me see, NC45. I use NC45 under my eyes. Sometimes I mix it with the NC50. And then sometimes I use this one for contour, which is the NW55. And sometimes I use the pure orange for like corrections. I just be using anything, so yeah. How the hell this shit zoom like this? Like, damn, calm down. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna show you how I do it with the pencil. By the way, these pencils, it's like an angle. This is what I like so about it's the like pencil. An angled pencil, like so. And then it comes with a brush at the end too. So that was cool because I love my little brushes. Now I'm going to go in like so. So you guys. I start like from not definitely not to the corner of my eyes but like right here. This is where I start. I don't know what it's called. I don't think it has a name. And then I'm just doing light strokes like so. Try to follow your natural eyebrow. If you go more, if you go like down more or up more, I learned that you're using more products and it's just more work. So just try to follow your natural eyebrow as like close as possible. So I'm just doing light strokes with the angled part of the brush. This is my favorite eyebrow, y'all. <laughs> and I'm just going out lightly and that was it. It's just like super easy. So here we go again. We're doing the same thing to the top. I don't really have to start all the way out here because I like to fade in. And I'm just starting slowly, slowly, curve. 
down and that's it so like how easy was that so now i'm gonna just do a little fill in and i don't like my eyebrows super dark especially like how i have blonde hair in y'all y'all will see that soon so i'm gonna just fade it in a little like so then i'm gonna just go in like so So now, I'm going to just go in with the concealer. Seeing that I already filled the eyebrows, I'm now going to go in with my concealer. I usually go with the lighter one because sometimes when you go with the lighter one, you don't have to add that extra eyeshadow underneath your eyes with your eyeshadows and stuff. So, I like to go with the lighter one. I just like the look and then it just gives me, I don't know, it just gives me that freaking look I like. Like, y'all stop pressing me. Damn. Alright, here we go. So now I'm starting all the way out here. Put enough product on your brush, by the way. And I'm just slowly tracing my eyebrow. I know y'all notice I stopped talking. I gotta concentrate sometime on this. y'all so now i'm going down but not too much down usually i would go all the way down but since i already did my eyeshadow i also forgot to tell y'all i'm gonna just use a regular blending brush like this and this is what i'm gonna use to blend out the concealer out of out from under my eye so i'm just gonna go in like so All about the blending bitches see it's disappearing so y'all be worrying too much because these step is so so easy see that's gone so now I'm gonna go in with the straight angled brush which is this I'm one I'm just gonna use my foundation so I don't use the concealer on the top of my eyebrows, y'all, because I I try I find that it looks too harsh, and sometimes the concealer, of course, doesn't match my foundation. I don't mind it not matching here, but at the top, I hate seeing that like sharp, discolored look. So I use my foundation, which is NARS. I'm gonna just use my liquid foundation, and I'm gonna just put that under um to conceal the top of my eyebrows, so it blends. So here we go. So it's not much to clean up, so that's the good part. So I'm just, just running it across my eyebrows. Kind of just giving it a sharper look. And then I just blend it out. So it disappears in my foundation. Could you see that? You see how you can see the one under the bottom, but you can't see the one at the top really? That's what I like. And I'm going to just brush the hair up like so. And that's really it for my eyebrows. Now I'm going to show you with the cream. So start brushing your eyebrows. And I'm going to ask y'all, which one do you rather? Yeah, comment below which one of the, um, which one of the methods you like or which one of the product you like better. So this is the pencil. But this is my favorite eyebrow, y'all. I wish I didn't do it on this one. And this is my least favorite eyebrow because I'm going to have to work with it. And I'm going to do the gel on this side. I know you see that highlight. <laughs> y'all, that's fine, y'all. I know y'all see that highlight. So anyways, with the gel, I just place it on top of my hand. But y'all, I just use like that much. Like, it be spreading. So I try to use less as possible. And then if I do need more, I'll take it out. So I'm going right in with now, the angle I'm just brush, like taking some of the product up like so. And this one is tricky, y'all. As you do it more, you'll get an, um, a better understanding on how to use it. But right now, mm, 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 mm. so look, y'all. Y'all going to take your time and you're going to move fast. This is a speedy work, I feel like. Because if you stuck one place, it dries. And then it's hard to, like, blend. So move fast. So starting from where I start on the other side. And then I'm kind of going up a bit because I need to fill it in also. So 
So as I move, I just keep moving, keep moving, so the product doesn't stay one place. See what I'm saying? Y'all, I gotta move. So. Now y'all see I don't have any hair right there. So I'm gonna have to make little hair. So I'm just doing it lightly. Like so. And brushing it in. Because my eyebrow over here a little bit is missing. So that's why it's like that. <laughs> And that's why it's the least favorite eyebrows. Eyebrow. What's your least favorite eyebrow, the left or the right? And that's that, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> I hate this eyebrow! Exact same thing on this eyebrow, you guys. I'm concealing the bottom of my eyebrow, straightening it up, and I'm also gonna conceal the top with my foundation it for my eyebrow tutorial you guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope it was helpful because i know a lot of people always want to know you know these are the small steps that people do it's pretty easy i'm sure you saw and right now it's just a little bonus i'm just going to show you how since i have blonde hair in i'm just going to show you how to change the color of your eyebrows so i'm usually like dark brown but right now i'm about to switch it up so basically i'm using my morphine palette and I'm going to use one of these shades right here. Like, you know, this one or maybe this or th it doesn't matter. But one of these blondish looking shades. Or I'm going to use a brush shades. like this. It's like an handled brush. You can really use any brush you want to. But I'm just using this because it's more, you know, precise or whatever. And here we go. So I'm just going to take some up like so. As I said, it doesn't matter what shade you use, it's just up to you. And I'm just going to lightly brush it onto my eyebrow. Like that. Don't worry about that, it's going to be blended out. So I'm blending it out like that. And I'm going to go in with the spoolie, and I'm going to just brush it up. And you can see the different shades. So you see how it looks right there. And this is the other side. So you can see this one is darker. And this one is lighter. So I'm going to do the same thing to this eyebrow right now. And blunt it out. And I'm just working my hand real lightly also. I'm not really going in too much. Ooh, I look so frosty. And then I'm going to just brush it up. yes so that's how i get these blondish so thank eyebrows. you guys for watching you know it's a girl miss corolla seven let me know if you'd like to know how i install my glueless wigs which is from my hair company which is exotic by mc7 which is miss corolla seven you know i'll show you a video on how i do my glueless units and i'm also going to do a secret little video on how i do glue units so once again thank you guys for watching thank you for showing me so much love you guys now that i'm back on youtube and i'm really enjoying myself and i'm feeling so motivated to do more videos for y'all so as i said before you know it's a girl miss Carl the seven see you in the next video i'm looking for something is this kind of sick Oh, I'm always mad at money.